We're in Vancouver on the Capilano Suspension Bridge. It's not quite the isolated wilderness spot I was hoping. Have you ever gone on vacation to a place that you thought would be sort of off the beaten path and you think you're gonna be out in this wilderness wonderland and then you get there and it's clogged with tourists just like yourself. And you're like, well, how do I turn this into what I sort of imagined in my head? I face this a lot because I'm constantly traveling and sometimes I just go with it and I show the tourists and they say, hey, this is the way things are. But sometimes I wanna make it look just a little bit more pristine. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you a few tricks that I use when I'm trying to take something like this and make it look just a little bit more appealing on camera. Okay, step one, we are not filming the main attraction because the suspension bridge is just too damn busy, there's too many people, there's no chance of getting a clear shot. So instead, we're filming the rest of the park, which is actually quite beautiful. There's a lot of other sort of smaller suspension bridges that are lining the trees here. There's plenty to see, there's plenty to shoot, and we don't have to shoot the actual main attraction of the park. So when you have a big crush of tourists like this, they do tend to go in waves, they ebb and flow, you know, in terms of the density. So I'm waiting for a little bit lower density of tourists, and then I'm gonna have Kobe walk across. <laughs> I feel like you could really like it. Almost time. Okay, let's go. There's tons of foot traffic here, no chance of cropping these people out from eye level. So I'm gonna try to put the camera like this, low angle, and track with Kobe as she walks. I'm gonna lock off my gimbal here so that it only follows my pan and it doesn't follow my tilt. And I am tilting the gimbal so it's looking pretty much straight up. And then I'm going to walk up the stairs and pan as I walk up to get sort of a dizzying, rotating shot of the tree. Imagine all the words becoming. We've got people on the bridge, so we're going to film in a different direction where there aren't tourists. It's completely open over here. So we're going to try for a close up, and I'm going to try to put Kobe in backlight uh, because it's going to be more attractive on her face and it's going to be a little bit more romantic looking. So I'll show you bad lighting and then I'll show you some good lighting. So also these bridges are pretty similar looking so it kind of doesn't matter if I shoot one bridge over and over or if I shoot different bridges. Uh, I just pick the one that's the least dense at the moment and focus on that. Now that we've been here in this park for a few hours, actually, it's cleared out quite a bit. And that's the most ideal way to shoot, of course. Wait until the people are gone or show up at dawn or at the beginning of the day before people even arrive. But if you don't have that luxury, I hope you've picked up a few tips on how you can minimize the amount of people that end up in your shot.